Okay, guys, now it's time for AS Pass. So remember that BGP is going to be a path vector protocol, right? So what we're concerned about is we're concerned with this, this attribute called AS underscore path. Now, remember in our best pass selection process, so I'm going to write it over here again, N, Willa, Omni, right? So in our best pass selection process, if the next hop is reachable, the weight is, is, is unchanged, the local preference is unchanged, locally originated routes, let's say that, that everything's redistributed, which is what we're going to do, then we're going to look at who has essentially the shortest AS path, okay? So remember that the shortest wins, okay? So... So from our two and our threes perspective, we really shouldn't have anybody be the longer or the shortest. We're going to go ahead and tweak it using a, a couple of different mechanisms here while well, really just one. Okay. And so when we redistribute this prefix in from R2 and R3, what we're going to find is we're going to find that R1 is going to say, well, I can get to that prefix from either router. So how can we as network engineers uh, tweak that. What we can do is we can actually add or what we call AS prepend the AS from one side. So let's say R1 chooses R2 or R3 rather as his next hop. What we can do is we can add additional autonomous systems to R3 to cause R3 to be less preferred because we can have R3 have a longer autonomous system path. So just like in the in the in the last video, if you guys watched the locally originated routes, we're going to run uh, EBGP here. So we're going to use ASN1, uh, ASN2, and ASN3. Uh, so that we can uh, so that we can simulate the fact that we're actually going to see the autonomous system path. If we just ran IBGP, that wouldn't happen. So we're going to peer with the loopback addresses just because I want you guys to become extremely familiar with this. Do show run section IP route. Uh, I do have some static routes configured to be able to get to those prefixes. So uh, so let's go ahead and let's let's get this thing started. So router BGP one, uh, BGP router ID again, not a requirement, just my my uh, my OCD habit. Uh, so now we'll say neighbor 2.2.2 remote AS2 neighbor 2.2.2 update source loopback zero neighbor 2.2.2 eBGP multi hop. We're going to say redistribute connected. Uh, do the same thing neighbor 3.3.3 remote AS3 neighbor 3.3.3 three update L zero uh, and neighbor three dot three dot three we can just say E. Okay, so do show run section router BGP. Let's head over to uh, let's head over to router two. We'll do these in order this time. Uh, config T router BGP two. We'll say redistribute connected BGP router ID two dot two dot two uh, neighbor one dot one dot one remote AS1, neighbor 1.1.1, update source L0, neighbor 1.1.1, eBGP multi hop So that should, that should come up. We should come up with an adjacency relatively quickly in theory. There we go. Let's go ahead and check R3 now. Config T, router BGP3. Oops. Missed the key. Okay. Uh, redistribute connected, BGP router ID 3.3.3. Uh, we'll say neighbor 1.1.1 1 .1 .1. <clears throat> uh, and say remote 1, neighbor 1.1.1, 1 .1 .1. update L0, neighbor 1.1.1, 1 .1 .1. E. So, you know, if you guys are, are looking for shorthand commands, you know, there you can you can just say remote, update, and E. Uh, you can, you know, say upt if you want or REM, and, and in theory that should work. Um, you know, you can play around with these or you can just use the tab key. I'm a big tab key fan. So, uh, let's say do show IPBGP summary. We have not received anything yet. And, and again, you know, that's okay as in the last video. We can check this a few times. BGP is not the fastest routing protocol on planet Earth. So, there are definitely times where... We have to wait, and I've been thinking about putting in the Jeopardy theme song here, so uh, <laughs> so that while we wait, you guys don't have to hear my my charming voice. So we have seven prefixes coming in from R2. Let's check those out. Show IP BGP. So here we can see the 10, 24, 35 prefix. Let's just uh, let's actually test and see if we can ping it. Let's just say do ping 10.24.35, and we'll just say two for now, uh, and we can get there. Let's say do show IP BGP summary. We still haven't gotten anything in from R3. Let's just make sure our config is correct. 
Uh, redistribute connected. Yep, so we have a neighborship. I'm just checking for this. So it's really just a matter of waiting. And there we go, good. Do you show IP BGP? And so we, we see what we expect now. So R2 is being chosen as our essentially our best hop. Uh, you can see here that we get the network also from R3. And so using the AS path, what is something that we can do? Well, what we can do is we can use again the AS prepend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a route map and I'm gonna call it AS underscore prepend so that I know what it is I'm gonna say permit now just like in other scenarios we can just tweak a single address okay and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say match IP address and I'm gonna say one I haven't created the ACL yet and that's okay now what I'm gonna do is say set AS path and I'm gonna use this prepend option Okay, so whoop, I meant to double click this and it didn't work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and create this ACL so don't get confused. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say set AS prepend and all I'm going to do because we're doing this from R2 is I'm just going to add the autonomous system of router 2 multiple times. Okay, so let's say exit do show run section route hyphen map. Here's the route map that we've created. I'm going to say, okay, match this one prefix. And of course, that ACL is going to be for this slash 24 network. And I want to prepend the autonomous system uh, five times. Okay, now there's one thing left that we need to do because we have a matching criteria. We need to go ahead and remember that we're going to have an implicit deny at the end. So we need to go ahead and allow everything else through. Okay, otherwise, everything's going to, all the other routes from R2 are going to be blocked. So we'll say access list um, one, permit 10.24, uh, 4.35.0.0.0.255. So do show run section route map, do show run section access. So here's our access list that's, that's have to get redone because I missed a five. <clears throat> You guys should warn me about that stuff. So here's our correct ACL uh, that, that we should see now. Let's say do show run ACL. All right, or access. So there's our access list that's going to match that slash 24 network. Then we have a route map that's going to say match that ACL. And then we're going to go ahead and prepend this AS multiple times. Now we can, now we're doing this on R1. So let's see what happens. We, we could also do this from R2, but let's see what happens here. So what we're going to do is say router BGP1 neighbor 2.2.2.2. And I'm going to say route map. Actually, I can just copy this and cheat a little bit. So we'll say route map prepend, right? And I'm going to say in. Let's say do clear IP BGP star soft. Now, like I said, we're doing this on R1. We could also do this on R2 and just basically say neighbor 1.1.1, the same exact route map, the same config, except this would be out, right? So we could go ahead and we could say out. In fact, maybe that's what we'll do over on uh, on R2. Let's say do, or R3 rather, let's say do show IP BGP. And you can see that now what we're getting is we're getting the original autonomous system uh, that we were traversing plus the five that we went ahead and added. Okay. And now at this point, we've flipped over to R3, right? Because now at this point, we have a shorter autonomous system path going through R3. So if I say do trace and say uh, 102435.2 which of course is the address hanging off of R2 over here, I'm going th through R3 to get there. So let's just mess around here. Let's actually grab this config from R2 or R1 rather. Let's say show run section uh, route map <clears throat> and we'll grab this, pop it in over on R3. And what we're gonna do is say set AS path and we'll say prepend. And we said five times, right? So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll prepend a sixth AS. And so we'll make the AS to a, um, we'll make the AS path to router three longer than the one to router five. Okay, uh, then what we'll do, we'll exit out of here. We'll go ahead and say permit uh, 20 exit because we want to allow everything else through, right? So it's essentially the same config that we've done on router one. All we're going to do is apply it in the outbound direction. Uh, we'll go ahead and cheat also and grab our ACL. Just so I don't have to do it again. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and pop that in over here. And let's just make sure that it took.
Uh, I'm a big fan of also verifying as I go. Uh, some folks say that wastes time for them and they'd rather verify when everything is all said and done. Hey, you know, whatever works for you, I'm a big fan and just making sure it's there when I do it and that I don't have to go back and check again. So uh, at this point, what we'll do, router BGP, uh, BGP3, and I'm going to say neighbor 1.1, and again with the cheating, we'll go ahead and we'll cheat and grab this AS prepend, and all I'm going to do is say out, okay? Do clear, oh, turn off the caps lock key, do clear IP BGP star soft, let's head over to 1, clear IP BGP star soft, and let's say show IP BGP, and in theory what we should see, and that's what we do, is we see that we've flipped back over to R2 as the, uh, as the best path, because now he has a shorter AS, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six over here, but we have seven for R3, because we have the original plus the six that we added. Now, one last thing is I had mentioned before when we were going over the, the, the attributes that we could use a specific command uh, to, to essentially remove that AS path from our best path selection process. And the thing is, is that a lot of people hear what I say and then they go in and they take a look and they're like, wait a minute, it's not an option there. Yeah, I know. Let's say AS path ignore. And I mean, I could tab this all day long and it's not going to take. However, if I hit enter, it takes it just fine. Do show run section router BGP. You can see it right here, BGP best path, AS path ignore. This is what we would call a hidden command, meaning that it's not something I would expect you to perhaps see on an exam because, you know, most, most vendors are nice about not giving you hidden commands. Although, you know, at some certification levels, if you happen to be studying and that's why you're watching this, you know, at some certification levels, it's expected that you would know, you know, a good share of hidden commands and how to do certain things that are kind of hidden in the background from the help menu, right? You're expected to know that at, at, uh, at some expert levels. And so, you know, I bring this up because a lot of folks write me an email and say, hey, that command you said, it, it's not there. It doesn't exist. You were wrong. And no, it absolutely does exist. There it is. Let's say do clear IP BGP star soft and then we'll say do show IP BGP and you can see that we are using R2 still you know at this point it's really not going to make a whole lot of difference you know if we were using some other attributes in our uh, our best pass selection process you know in combination then this command would would uh, would certainly help us out or or be able to to help us to further tweak BGP. But again, I want to just point this out that we can use this, uh, this command to essentially turn off this, uh, this AS path from our path selection if we want to. So guys, uh, the next one's going to be origin. How do we take the, the, the best path selection using the origin? If we, if we go up here, this is what I mean by origin. How can we use either redistribution or the network command to tweak essentially how different prefixes are coming in and use that in our best path selection. So I will see you in that video.